Now, WUSA 9's first alert weather, rated DC's most accurate forecast. Howard Burns is with you this St. Patrick's Day, which features some rain and snow showers, but also a much nicer finish to the day. Sunshine, and we're going to see a lot of sunshine on Sunday. It's going to live up to its name, and it's going to be the pick of the week. Yes, Sunday, pick of the week, and got a whole week coming. This looks like the best day. 30s and 40s in the morning, but mid to upper 50s for highs. Winds west, northwest, northwesterly at about 5 to 10 miles an hour. But there's a lot going on. Been a very active pattern. And we're looking at a potential snow in spots here Monday night, Tuesday, and maybe even lingering into Wednesday on and off. And that energy is spinning here in the inner mountains down through Colorado here. Some heavier snows in the mountains, some rains along the lower elevations and coastal areas. But this is going to be our Tuesday, Wednesday storm, at least the energy for it. Ahead of it, we're seeing some strong to severe storms between Dallas and Austin Saturday evening. And another severe thunderstorm watch in Kentucky, Tennessee, even parts of southwestern Virginia. So yes, spring there. We're still holding on to uh, the last days of winter, and it may pack a little bit of a punch here Monday night into Tuesday. Here's the future cast. Clouds sticking south by morning. Good looking Sunday. Temps, as I said, well in the 50s. High pressure builds in, so no problems. Monday morning starts with sunshine. Clouds will be increasing on Monday. We watch the moisture. There may be a late shower, especially west and south, but looks like Monday night that moisture moves in. And right now, it's a borderline situation. A lot of things have to come together for us to get accumulating snow this late on the year. One thing that helps is if it falls at night because during the day we get some sunlight even through the clouds, just enough to keep things warm. And Futurecast thinks by uh, overnight Monday night to Tuesday morning, areas north of town, parts of western Maryland, West Virginia, far northern Virginia up toward Winchester, could be seeing that rain turning to snow in toward Tuesday morning. This would cause some issues, especially west of the Blue Ridge, north of 70, maybe upper Montgomery and Loudoun might have some issues, northern Fauquier. And then during the day, as the storm starts to deepen, we may actually see the snow line drop. The problem for sticking snow again in March, if it falls in the middle of the day, it's a little warm. It would fall and melt, and uh, that would be the issue. Let me show you a couple of different models, too, because this is the confusion here. You look at the GFS, yeah, not that much there. Then it tries to bring a little bit more snow into Wednesday with a second area of low pressure, especially in some of the higher elevations west and southwest of us until Wednesday night. And then you look at the European model. That's also bringing that mix Monday night into Tuesday, right? And then you see snow Tuesday morning, but daytime snow in March, tough time accumulating. We clear out Tuesday night and then part two would stay south of us according to the European. So when you look at the snow output, not much on the GFS here except in the mountains, right? You look at the Euro, uh, north of town, even DC. Yeah, that's the three plus inch category here. But even if we were to get three or four inches to fall, how much of it would actually accumulate before melting? And this is going to be the, the tricky part of the forecast going into Tuesday and Wednesday. 20s and 30s tonight, clear skies, rather cold. Sunday morning, 30s and 40s, sunny, chilly, northwest winds at 5, picking up a little bit 5 to 10 in the afternoon, but real pleasant with highs well up into the 50s. Monday, again, maybe that late shower around 50, that wintry mix and some snow north and west Tuesday, 40. I'll keep snow showers in the forecast for Wednesday around 40. Spring begins, by the way, at 1215 on Tuesday afternoon and then still staying chilly through Friday with a few showers possible later on Saturday.